I think within the university community, he's someone that is seen as uh, is really a trusted uh, figure, a wisdom figure, if you will. Um, and who else has a ballroom named after him? So it's, you know. Along with St. Francis, you realize very early as a priest, it's not you, Christ working through you. You're only the instrument, the instrument of his grace. I would say first, he's an amazing 90-year-old guy. He plays golf weekly, can still turn on the ball as we golfers say. He has a lovely personality. He's always very positive. Knows everyone in town, everyone. You go to Scanlon's for lunch and you can't even have a conversation because everyone's coming up to the table to talk to Father Mac. I mean, he's just a legend in Scranton. Officiated at many of their weddings, their children, their grandchildren's weddings. So much of our lives that we spent with him have been big events in our children's lives. And he's been a real big part of it. And he's just has a lot of laughs and a lot of fun and a lot of humor to everything. But he's also been there, you know, for people when, when they're hurting, when they're suffering, when they're sick. We all share Father Mac in Scranton. You know, I've always considered Father Mac uh, an exemplary Jesuit. You know, in his own quiet way, it's not a bombastic or a showy kind of holiness, but it's, you know, the each and every day caring for, for God's people and uh, celebrating the sacraments, uh, So just so generous. In those days, you just, the third Friday, I think it was in June, uh, you got a list there called the status, and they were your marching orders. And what you got simply said, you know, a name, McElhenney, Scranton Prep School, headmaster. That was it. <laughs> so it was up to you to find out where Scranton was and how to get there. <laughs> and uh, that I did. So that's how it all began, really. Well, I've known Father Mac almost literally since he first came to Scranton in 1958. Uh, I was a senior uh, at the prep. He, came, of course, came to Scranton as the headmaster of the Scranton Preparatory School. And he was the one that actually moved uh, the prep to its current location on Wyoming Avenue in 1963. You know, and that showed great vision and determination. And uh, in 1966, uh, he moved from being headmaster of the prep came to the university as the director of admissions. And then later he was elevated to dean of admissions. People just took it for granted. It was kind of the assumption that every September we'd have a full freshman class because we, we had faith that Father Mack would do it. And he did it year after year. Another thing that he was very instrumental in uh, was co-education. He changed all of our lives by accepting us into the university. And with his help, we helped change the university as well. That's a pretty neat legacy. Father Mack would probably be very surprised to know that I have a photograph of him in my office. So I think about him almost every day. The university could not continue to simply depend for its primary constituency, the local market. You know, he's really one, the one, as I understand it, that really opened up the markets in Northern Jersey and Long Island and uh, making uh, the university of now a national school. It was pretty revolutionary. and He had an idea that if he would pack us all in a van on Sunday afternoons and take us to New Jersey and New York and Philadelphia, that we could increase the uh, profile of the students that go here. So that's what we would do. We'd meet her at around 8 o'clock in the morning. We'd hop in one of those big old University of Scranton vans, and we'd go on the road. So I think that has had an amazing impact, you know, just the students that have come, you know, from those areas. You know, when you think about it, it's a great... You know, it's a great legacy. His work in admissions was, uh, was, you know, was a large part of what has made the university what it is today. I think we have statistics that he's probably accepted, we'd have to check this, a third to a half of the alums of the University of Scranton when, when he was a director of admissions. But he sealed the deal for me that day when I walked into his office because his caring and his compassion and his love for the university were so evident, I knew I wanted to be a student there. I know he has done that for thousands of other students too, and that's his legacy at the University of Scranton. He's seen the school grow and mature into a very excellent school it is now, and he's watched it all, so it's fabulous. 
Congratulations, Father Mac. We love you. God bless you. Congratulations, Father Mac. Congratulations from Yale. Bernie, congratulations and thanks for all you've done for me and for Scranton. Congratulations, Father Mac Lenny. We are so proud and lucky to have you in our lives. Thanks, Father Mac, and congratulations to you. Congratulations, Father Mac, and thank you for all that you've done for so many people. You're the best, Father Mac. Congratulations. Congratulations, Father Mac. We're so proud of you, believe me, proud of you. Congratulations, Uncle Bernie. We love you. Congratulations on receiving the President's Award, Uncle Bernie. We're all so blessed to have you in our lives. Thank you for your love and support over the years. Love you. As you know, Father Mac, I can't be at the big dinner tonight in New York because right now I'm in Rome. And I'm here as uh, an elected delegate to the General Congregation of the Society of Jesus that will be electing uh, a new Superior General, uh, which is very exciting, but also a very profound uh, responsibility. In that, we're looking for someone who, in many ways, is regarded as the second most powerful uh, person in the church. He's called the Black Pope because he wears the black cassock and the Pope wears white. Uh, so we're looking for someone who is a, a seasoned Jesuit, someone who has administrative abilities and skills, um, but also someone who has great people skills. You know, someone who's been a, a faithful Jesuit, you know, through the years. Hmm. How's your Italian, Father Mac? Arrivederci and congratulations. Thank you.